what is up Dana homies it is your boy Justin Bassetti back again with another data token video I'm gonna skip some of the introductions just want to play around with some of the video metrics so we'll definitely dive into that later on in terms of the theta guardian node as well as the elite edge node for staking but let's go on to X and see what G he says so to start off with do you know you can use theta network edge cloud chatbot and text -to image showcase in a model pipeline first use the chatbot to expand and improve your stable diffusion prompt and then send it for text to image generation here is what he got so when you click this enlarge this image scene that G he put please come up with a stable diffusion prompt to generate a scenic image for a Japanese temple or sunset or when he did that the AI model was able to provide some sort of definition or description for it and then G he inserted it into the image to generate an image and then this is what he got so it's really great it looks really cool it looks amazing in terms of the artwork so I just want to show you guys something as well so clicking out of here you can see the edge cloud AI showcase clicking here you can see that when you go to the chat bot you have the text to image and then the text to video as of right now in the making of this video the text to video is not available but the chat bot is so the first prompt that comes up is what is theta network for those who want to take a little pause as to the answer to this question you are more than welcome to so it is just a quick brief introduction as to what theta is but let's see just like some of the prompt we can also do that i just want to mention seeing here uh tell a quick joke so see, why did the blockchain go to therapy? Because it was struggling to hash out an issue. Haha. <laughs> so it's always fun it's seeing that this AI type of platform is growing in popularity, not just because of the popular buzzword of AI, but it actually looks like the utility for it is actually being encompassed in the businesses. You can even see recently if you're in the business tech that Google and other bigger companies are slowly outsourcing some of the positions into other countries, just because I feel like my personal belief that AI is taking over the positions in the United States. That's just my own opinion put some thoughts in the comments down below as well going on to the text to image just because we'll play around with that we're gonna see right here it's pretty nice and simple so seeing here is the first one it says the prompt multiple jellyfish with bright vibrant colors float around underwater among the grass depth of field bokeh jellyfish in foreground focus and background so here's the image for that for generating you can men play with the guidance scale the steps the seed width and height so this is just the text images of itself for the how big you want it going on to the seed you can see the the seed is used for the random number of generator. Changing this will produce different results. Going on to the steps, the number of steps to take in the diffusion process. More steps will generally produce better results, but slower outcome. The guidance scale, how closely your prompt should be followed. Use a lower value for more creativity and a higher volume for more precision. So if you, it sounds like if you want to be a little more specific, you'll increase the guidance scale. And then if you want just something more broad, you'll just lower it. But let's just do something for fun, just for the purpose of this video. So dog and cat in in a field. And then we hit send. So here's the image. Fortunately, it wasn't as detailed because probably because it was pretty just general. So here's the field, the dog and cat. Uh, this unfortunately took a little longer than expected, maybe just because it wasn't as specific. So if you put a little more details and a little more creativity into it, then maybe you'll be able to populate a quicker image. So that took a lot longer than I was hoping for. So if it may have been a little bit of cut and paste, you may have noticed a little different transition. But overall, definitely put some thoughts and comments about that as well. If you've been playing around with either the chatbot or even the text to image just mention some things down below if you're having fun with it if you're utilizing it for me personally i think i might be using some of this technology for my own thumbnails just seeing how the utility for it is actually going to be proven so that i'm not only am i just using it on my channel but it's actually being showcased as well and demonstrated that this technology is being used somewhere and firsthand at least first example for myself i'm using the technology and really am happy for it so we'll check out that in the near future what else is more to come especially when it comes to that in terms of the text to video i feel like that's going to be something so big in the near future i remember during one of their presentations for theta and google that they were showcasing the example they used was a steph curry highlight moment they would just type that out and then that would just lead you right to that moment that you were looking for so we'll hopefully see that in the near future but until then we just stay tuned for the news so if you haven't yet please hit that like and subscribe button if you're trying to find any theta news relevancy continue on to other posts that i have here seeing that imagine replay partnership announcement they are excited to announce their partnership with theta network for their theta edge cloud the first hybrid cloud ai computing platform will allow us to optimize the process of their text to video ai generative model and write create and replay so i don't know too 
too much details about this. We already knew that Imagine Replay or Replay was already partnered with Theta, but now utilizing the Theta Edge Cloud. I just don't know as to how this is going to be utilized in terms of their content. So we'll stay tuned. I feel like the Psycho KO may have some sort of hand in this, but it's just kind of a guess because I haven't seen really announcement. But I know that Psycho KO is also on Imagine Replay. So that's the reason why I mention it. Who knows what other shows that may be showcased on this platform as well. But we will stay tuned and wait for that type of news. Continue on, of course, we're going to see that love seeing these 3D rendering jobs for the Elite Edge nodes ramping up. It's nice seeing these also. So you can see the 3D rendering, the video encoding, and it just seems like the jobs are increasing. So for those who want to stake your T field to my Edge node, right now in the making of this video, I believe it's almost full. So that's the reason why some people have been commenting saying they couldn't stake. So if you can't stake your T field but would like to stake your Theta tokens, you're more than welcome to check out my Guardian node as well. Earn as much T field passively. But I just want to mention like the amount of jobs has increased a lot. Sometimes before with my Elite Edge node, I would get maybe 0.1 something every hour, but now it seems like sometimes I'll get like two jobs within the same hour. So it just doubles the amount I'll get in a day. So for example, previously before this update, that there was only 24 hours in a day. So then I would get basically like 2.4 T fuel a day, roughly just doing that quick math. But now sometimes I'll get even more. So that just shows that with the more jobs, more earnings for those who are running those nodes, and then you can utilize those T fuel tokens however you like, either on Open Theta, Theta Drop, any of the sub chains on Theta for those type of exchanges or who knows what's more to come with the utility when it comes to theta fuel but i'm hoping for the best and hoping more for also theta drop but that's just more for another video so we're going to continue on with the next type of news see here jenny on saying theta network edge node v4.7.12 update looks to have resolved stuck levita jobs for windows so there was a previous update 4.6.12 i believe but people have been having issues with the levita jobs on their edge nodes i still don't get any levita jobs i'm not too sure why i'm assuming it's my region just because I'm in the Midwest, the United States, I'm assuming that's why, but who knows, maybe it's just because I'm just unlucky when it comes to jobs, but I guess in a sense, I am lucky because I didn't have that LaVita issue so far. Hopefully, I don't have any issues with my edge nodes or guardian nodes, but we shall see. I just want to mention this because it looks like this was a quick fix because there was also a recent update when it comes to the edge node. I do want to highlight what LaVita said on May 5th of 2024. Seeing the update, the latest version of the edge node 4.7.12 appears to have resolved the LaVita issue without any additional uploading status please let us know if you encounter any other problems so for those who are still encountering some sort of problem definitely put some thoughts and comments down below maybe we can get you to the right people and if it has worked this update and changed the problem i'm glad it worked out for you guys going on then continue on and we're going to see even here that almost seven years ago kyle laffey he was in a cramped conference room with a cupertino helping a small group come up with a new company name his idea was surge but no one else in the room liked it after debating various greek letters they went with theta network and theta token in its stead so this was posted on April 30th of 2024. Just some fun history here and there. Just seeing the growth and development of Theta Network. I don't know if this is going to hopefully. I'm really hoping this goes down in the long run in terms of updates and partnerships and just the story of it all together. Everyone's journey when it comes to Theta, but just some things that I see and I just like to note and throw into the video sometimes. Still some more updates seen here. Congratulations to the Fuse Wars team on an outstanding achievement with Epic Games. It's been a pleasure for the last two and a half years watching the project grow in what it is today and in reality this is just the beginning so it looks like in this image altogether it looks like the epic store his releasing the fuse wars someday it doesn't say specifically when it says coming soon so for those who played the beta test in either theta of 2022 i'm not sure if it was at 2023 because i was unable to attend in texas but it's just nice seeing that the partnerships are growing the building for each platform continues to build for the bigger projects on theta that is what i feel like a lot of people who are believing in this project altogether not just the game but also theta network is just hoping for for that next level to break out into that type of public scene and now seeing fuse wars one of the bigger platforms in terms of nfts is showcasing that i just still don't know how it's going to be incorporated into the game how the new web 3 and gaming is going to take over but it's just nice seeing this type of announcement personally i just can't wait to see when it's actually released and i feel like a lot of people are going to hop on it especially when it comes to the theta people who've been in this for the long run and played seeing the nfts seeing the videos seeing the demo just seeing this type of progress it just something that i'm pretty happy about i'm happy for the team and i'm just gonna stay tuned and wait for this game to be released next thing i also want to mention is this individual looks like theta network edge cloud ai chatbot tried for free prompts provide some detailed scenarios on how theta network token could potentially reach a price of 2000 usd until 2030 i'm not going to read this entirety of it i just wanted to end the video a little bit more on a fun note so like i said earlier guys all the links in these videos you'll see down below in the description along with my imagine replay referral link if you are trying to earn as much tnc 20 token especially on the 
Theta blockchain. As well, you'll notice those addresses down below for my Theta Guardian node if you want to stake your Theta tokens, or my Elite Edge node if you can stake your T Fuel tokens because I'm not too sure if it's still full or not. But either way, you're going to earn as much T Fuel passively as possible. Help on my channel, help with the Theta network, and utilize any of those tokens, those T Fuel tokens, however you want, by either restaking, transitioning it to your own wallet in the real world, Theta Drop, Open Theta, any of the future sub chains, or any of the current partnerships with Theta that incorporates the on Theta swap. But like I said, if you're trying to find as much Theta news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of Theta partnerships, please hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely put some thoughts and comments down below what you guys think about the video, what you think about the Edge Cloud update, the AI, the text, the images. It's just so many things I'm looking forward to. I feel like everyone is too. We're almost there. I feel like we're just like at the cusp. I'm hoping there's going to be a big outbreak in terms of a positivity and bull run for Theta. But of course, these videos are never financial advice. These videos are never really price predictions. If you want to throw some price predictions down below, I'll comment down below just for fun why not but until the next data video guys until the next data update it is your boy justin facetti so try to keep up hi right, deuces